go, hey, he's gone. Sometimes patients come to me and it's the first time they've ever seen a chiropractor. Generally, they have a rough idea as to what it is that we do, but when you put them on the spot and have them try to explain what that idea is, more often than not, they're lost for words. So I think it's very important then to educate these people on the practice of chiropractic because, as with most things, it's important to know what you're getting into. You wouldn't take up surfing, for example, if you didn't like getting wet, and nor should you go and see a chiropractor if you're not comfortable with spinal manipulation or a host of other therapies we often employ. But what's at the core of chiropractic practice? Most people associate chiropractic with cracking bones. And if you'd like to know more about why we don't actually crack bones and rather mobilize joints, then check out one of my other videos I did prior to this one. The link will be in the description. A good analogy is that of a car getting its regular service. Most people understand that a car needs to have certain things checked over throughout the year. Tire pressure, changing oil and coolants, tightening bolts, replacing parts, etc. This is because after using our cars, we expect a certain amount of wear and tear. No vehicle is invincible, they all need work, and the same is true for our bodies. We use them every single day, more so than our cars in fact. There's not a single second that passes where we're not using them. Because of all this, we too experience wear and tear. Think about when you're turning off a road into your driveway and how your wheels individually attack the lip of your driveway at different points in time as you turn in. As you're doing this, your car sort of rocks a bit like a boat from side to side until you've steered the right course. If you do that often enough and aggressively enough, the force impacting your wheels causes them to become misaligned. In turn, the car will need a wheel alignment so that the tyres don't wear out prematurely. The same can be said for our bodies. Think of all the forces constantly impacting your body. Gravity alone for one, falls, drunken stupors, playing rugby, tennis, boxing, or even sitting at a desk all day. These all equate to sustained forces imposed upon your frame, which will inevitably require remedial service if you are to feel fully capable again. And so enter the chiropractor, a person who has been trained to identify restrictions in your joints. Joints are formed by the foundational structures of your body, the bones, the deepest layer of tissue beneath you. When joints become restricted from excessive compressive force, usually gravity or other impacts, we can't move as freely. So chiropractors use a tool known as manipulation to free these joints of restriction and attempt to restore normal range of motion. It doesn't stop there, of course. There's more to a body than just joints. There's muscles, there's nerves and ligaments too. These structures can also become restricted in their own ways. We can also manipulate these structures but using different means, dry needling or acupuncture, cupping, massage, using instruments, electrical machines, or even lasers. These latter techniques aren't limited to chiropractors though. Loads of other practitioners can do these things as well. It's the manip manipulation that usually separates our profession from others. So there you have it. One analogy for explaining to first timers of chiropractic a little bit about what we do and how we can help. Chiropractors, generally speaking, are manual therapists who treat predominantly musculoskeletal disorders. Typically, we use a tool known as manipulation at the core of our treatment protocol in an attempt to restore proper function to joints. In addition to this, depending on the individual you might see, we may also employ other more general techniques as a means to compound your progress and recovery. And if you're interested in finding out about what it is that I do or the other practitioners who work at the Physical Therapy Centre here in Sydney use, then check out our website in the link below. Until then, doesn't matter what direction, just keep moving. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, thanks mate, good on you.